All right, and the one, and the two, and a one, two, three. Midweek motivation. With Diana, With Diana and, Amanda. and Amanda. DNA. Hey, friend. How are you? Hey. Uh, I'm sweating a little bit. I'm not going to lie. Like walking from Swem to Boswell, if you are the cloud familiar, forest, through the forest, mm-hmm. up the meadow and around the corner, it was it was a hike. I had to rush to get here. Mm-hmm. I was, I'm not going to lie, I was a little bit late. Um, so I'm sweating right now. So yeah. I apologize. Well, uh, I don't really you? know a good way to segue into <laughs> our topic no way. for today. It's a lot of information. How, did you find the walk accessible? Uh, you know? I did find the walk pretty accessible. Oh, yeah, I'm sure did. glad you brought up accessibility because <laughs> today we are talking about Blackboard Ally. Blackboard Ally, that's um, right. Faculty might have noticed when they came back for the fall semester that their courses suddenly had um, a little extra embellishment, a little extra decoration, um, some colorful dials in Blackboard, um, and frankly, most of them were probably red when you first noticed mm. them. Um, some of them might have been orange, and then, you know, occasionally here and there you might have seen a green dial. So those funny little dials, we're going to put a picture in the video, um, Mm -hmm. in Blackboard on your site. That's what we're here to talk about today, Blackboard Ally. Right, and the dials. Yeah, so this is a new tool that Blackboard launched, and it's been great for accessibility. So when we talk about accessibility, we're talking about... Um, what students can access, the information they're accessing, um, specific to your Blackboard course, things that are online. So digital documents, videos, images, um, and making sure that they're accessible for all learners. Um, and so there's a little, that little dial that's on there is giving them this score um, of how accessible the document is that they've you know, if it's a PowerPoint, if it's a PDF, if it's an image, and then it gives that little score every time something is uploaded onto the site and they get their score and the color. Um, which fun fact I did find out, um, speaking of accessibility, that the colors um, for the folks who are colorblind, that's an accessibility thing. So we actually had to check accessibility on the accessibility tool. Interesting. Um, right. And because so, the red green was looking. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh. But they did put it in a way. Um, the response we got was that it was um, as as it was done as well as it could be for those folks that might um, suffer from being colorblind. So we're going to talk to you about some quick tips that you can um, if you if you are a person who has been ignoring those dials, um, or mm-hmm. if you're a person who just has uh, not really known what to do with them. We're going to talk you through some quick tips about how you can um, embrace uh, the green. That's what we're going to go. We're going to oh, we're going like to grow the green. The goal is not perfection necessarily it's progress Mm -hmm. Um, but if you are someone who's interested in turning more of your orange and red dials green we want to give you some tips on how to do that and how to make your site um, your course site more accessible for students who might be in your class who have like a print related reading disability and they're using a screen reader or they have um, you know low vision or um, blindness and they're using a screen reader to access the material in your course we want to make sure that mm-hmm. they can actually do that and that the assistive technology tools that they know how to use are compatible with the materials you're providing in your course. Yeah, so um, when you're uploading a PDF, one thing when I was working with faculty members that were putting everything online for their readings in a PDF version was um, making sure that you have a PDF version, an updated version of that file and because the older files Um, don't work for the screen readers. So make sure you have an updated version of your PDF um, that is a clear PDF. I was working with faculty where the only version they had was scanned versions of like textbooks um, turned into PDFs. So nothing about that was really uh, accessible. Yeah, and the great thing about Ally is you don't have to wonder why the dial is red. You can just click on it and a little bar will pop up that tells you exactly what the accessibility issue is and in most cases it will even offer like a quick fix so if you have a you know a header or an image or something on your site and there's a red dial next to it and you click it chances are the error is that you don't have any alt text you don't have something that explains what that image is with words so that a screen reader could tell somebody this is the welcome banner Um, and a lot of times with Ally, it will even go ahead and suggest to you 
would you like to use this as the description for this image? Mm -hmm. um, if you don't like the description, you can type in something of your own and just hit save. You'll instantly see the dial change mm -hmm. from red to green. Um, and then with the PDFs, if you're clicking on it and it's saying this PDF is not a tagged PDF, definitely reach out to libraries. Are they going <laughs> to? They can be mad at us. Okay. <laughs> this is a plug for libraries. Yeah, this is a plug for libraries. <laughs> or you could start with the database at the library before actually going to the library. That's I just better. Sa I just saved us from. Roy, please make a note. <laughs> but one other thing I would also recommend, um, while well, we're talking accessibility with this um, with Ally, is it's not just for those that have a hard time reading the screen, but also thinking about um, in your slides and your videos, making sure that you've got camp. Uh, Captions. Captions. Wow, the Midwest. Don't you know? The Midwestern <laughs> in me just came out. I thought I lost that captions. 15 years ago. Anyways, um, yeah, captions on your videos um, as well. So, so all those little tweaks that you can make in your course to make sure that you're thinking about anybody with any type of learning disability. Um, you know, the captions on your videos and in your PowerPoint presentations. Those are also important. Yeah, and we're going to do a future episode about just overall like course navigation, organization um, thoughts and tips. Um, mm -hmm. But this specifically is about those beautiful, colorful little dials in Blackboard. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so click on them. Um, if, you, if you notice them in your course, go ahead and click on those dials, see the suggestions they're making. And obviously, as always, reach out to Steely if you have questions about the dials um, and, and the suggestions they're making. Or if you need just some suggestions on what to do and, and, and how to make your course and your documents more accessible. Because mm -hmm. we're accessible. We're so accessible. Just mm -hmm. anytime. Call on us anytime. Yeah. You can use my cal calendly. Calendly. <laughs> calendly link. That's for a future episode. Future episode, we'll talk about her. Calendula. We should leave. <laughs> we're done here. <laughs>